Hey guys, Andrew here. I want to talk about self-improvement. I got a message today from this woman, very nice lady, uh, I don't know, probably early 30s or late 20s, saying that my posts on Facebook, uh, my philosophical posts, are very um, enlightening to her and she enjoys them very much. And that's my true self. I don't have to pretend to be anyone or pretend to be cool or exaggerate or anything. I don't do those things anyway, but I feel like I can be comfortable. I can be my true self with her. Um, I usually kind of hide different parts of me uh, depending on who I'm talking to. I'm not going to tell some, you know, really smart guy that I've experimented with marijuana before and partying and drinking. And I'm not going to tell someone that I meet at a club that, you know, I'm a big church guy or I was a big church guy. So, um, I've gone through a lot, I've seen a lot, I've done a lot, and I meet a lot of people, and I realize it's all about how you present yourself. People don't remember exactly what you say. They remember how you make them feel. They don't remember what, you, they kind of remember what you do, they kind of remember what you say. Most remember what, what, how you make them feel. And I realize with dating, I've been doing things all wrong the entire time. I've been reading a lot of self-help books, and a lot of um, podcasts of guys who call themselves life coaches, and I, I kind of want to do it. Um, but I'm using it to help myself and if someone else sees it as me being a life coach then I think I, c I can use that to my advantage whatever I can muster up I'm seeing things in an entrepreneurial way now I have a different view on business and life now I used to think like oh I'll just leave it for someone else to do oh, I'm not good enough now I'm thinking if I'm good at something why not make a hobby out of it. If I'm good at doing music and everyone always tells me, oh, you should do on, you should go on The Voice or American Idol, I think I should focus more on music and get better at it so that I can amaze more people. Uh, fitness, um, I'm really fit and I know how to be really fit. So if I can make myself fit and every time I go to the gym to work out myself, I'm training someone else, then I'm using my time even wise, we wiselier, wiselier, even wiser, even more wisely by if I'm gonna work out anyway, might as well have someone join me. If I'm gonna go to the store and buy food, might as well have a service where I'll take someone to the store and show them what to buy. That way they know what to, how to be healthy. Um, uh, I can analyze someone's life and tell them my two cents on what I would do if I were them. Joe Rogan said this, pretend that you are a character in a movie and look at yourself from a third party point of view. What would you do? What advice would you tell yourself if you were watching yourself on screen? What would you expect your character to do? Now, whatever it is you're thinking of, go do it. I picture myself playing guitar on the weekends, going to school um, to get a degree, and then I have my window clean job that I'm gonna make tons and tons of money, and I'm gonna have to like eat lots. I'm gonna have lots of food, um, good vegan food to eat. I'm gonna buy lots of new clothes. I'm picturing what the lifestyle I want to be. If you make these goals, that they then they can happen, and you can have earnest goals like wanting to help other people and spread your religion or whatever or your faith, whatever you want. Um, and you can pretty much use whatever self-help things to improve your life based on wherever you are. Because we all have different um, meanings. We all have different gifts and talents and callings in life. We're all not meant to be a king. Uh, you have to have the jesters. You have to have the queens, the, the court system, the governors, the states. You can't just all be president, king, emperor of the world. You know, um, there's a mix. So... Oh man, my head feels really dizzy. I'm like really hungry right now. So I'm going to grab some food, guys. But um, I've been doing things all wrong dating-wise. You're supposed to work on yourself and be the best person you could be. Work on yourself business-wise. And then women will naturally be attracted to you. And then you can choose. You'll have lots of women come to you. You can choose which one makes you feel best. Which one do you think you'll grow the most with? And that's the one you go with.